how to add Alibaba products to Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're gonna be talking about importing Alibaba products to your Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way possible, okay? And those products are gonna appear right here in your product catalog as so. And it's going to be pretty incredible. And this is a great source of drop shipping. So if you want to start your drop shipping business, trust me, Alibaba is the provider that you need. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So to start things off, what you're going to do is obviously we're going to need a third party plugin provider that will actually let us add Alibaba products. So we're going to go into apps and we're going to go to all recommended apps and we're going to click on Shopify app store. Okay. And that will take us to the app catalog where we're actually going to add a third party plugin for ourselves. So I'm just going to come here and search up Alibaba. Okay. And once you search up Alibaba, just enter it and it's going to give you all the providers that actually allow you to import Alibaba things into your store. Right now there's quite a lot of providers. Okay. There's uh Waffle drop shipping, there's uh, Auto DS drop shipping, there's drop shipping Alibaba, and there's also Spocket. Okay, now preferably most people would go with Spocket because it's very like one of the best drop shipping providers out there, and it also gives you Alibaba uh, drop shipping products. And you can also use Auto DS, but more preferably I would go with Spocket. Now, if you're not in the US and EU, like it only drop ships in the United States and the European countries. Other than that, it will not obviously you can apply to this from any country. Like as you can see, I'm in Pakistan and uh, I can apply to this app store from here. I can apply to this product from here, but I cannot ship those products to Pakistan. I have to and I need to go ahead and use these products to ship in US and EU. So just keep that in mind before installing this. But yeah, uh, I'm going to click on install and it takes me to the Spocket providers where it's going to ask me to create a Spocket account to connect to my store. OK, and once you have a Spocket account and everything, we're simply going to click on install app. And as we click on install app, obviously it takes us straight into the um, account creation section. So we're just going to wait for it to create an account for us over there as well. And here we have it. So which region are you planning to sell in? OK, so again, North America, Europe, Asia or global. Now, if it's all regions, obviously not everything is going to be included. So we're just going to click on continue for all regions just for now. And if you click on all regions, you have all these. So you have the starter plan, the pro plan and the unicorn plan. You can obviously get these plans for free. It's pretty, you can just claim a trial and you're going to get them for free. So that's not an issue. But yeah, uh, once you've uh, gone with these things, it also asks you what kind of products are you looking for, right? So just go with the, the necessary products that you actually need. And once you've done that, just come over to Spocket and start your drop shipping journey. Okay. Now, when it comes to actually drop shipping with your Spocket, what happens is, as you can see over here, uh, go ahead with a plan. And once you go with a plan and you have your actual Spocket app over here, there we go. It just straight up off redirects us to this page where we can get different Alibaba products. Now, the thing about Spocket is that you don't really need a basic, um, you could say, you don't really need a proper Alibaba provider or anything like that. You could just simply go with the normal products because all the products are Alibaba products. So it says, which category do you want to sell in? Now, obviously, I would prefer going with something more in niche or more popular nowadays. Now, as we know, winter is near and Christmas is also coming. So I would prefer going with, you know, winter clothing or Christmas products to, you know, increase your engagement. So for now, I'm going to go with men's clothing and I'm going to click on continue. Obviously, choose your suppliers and I'm going to go with this uh, supplier over here. Then you're going to choose the region. OK. So once we've chosen region, click on continue. And once you click on continue, make sure that you have all the uh, pricings and plans down. And once you get all the pricing and plans from there, what's going to happen is uh, they're going to start giving you products. OK, and Spocket is only one of the apps. You can also use other apps. Uh, I'm going to also give you an example of Deezer's. OK, Deezer's is also a pretty incredible app that uh, where you can import Alibaba products into this. 
So this is Pocket, and the thing is, Pocket although is incredible, but it requires a pricing. So this was a process for Pocket. Now let me show you Deezers. Okay, again, you're gonna do the same with Deezers. You're gonna go into your app market. You're gonna add Deezers, and once you add Deezers, it's free. Deezers is literally free. So no uh, trial, no nothing. Now in Deezers to get products, you're gonna simply come over to Find Suppliers, and once you come to Find Suppliers. Obviously, it says AliExpress, but it also supplies you Alibaba products as well, okay? And all these products can be cross-referenced with different Alibaba products that you have. So, you can simply go over to Alibaba over here, and you can actually import your Alibaba products into your Deezers, okay? And again, I'm just going to simply go up to Alibaba.com and here you can see different products from Alibaba. Uh, you can cross check these like, let's say I want to go with this, right? Or you know what? Let's go with a hoodie. Let's go with a hoodie because that would make more sense. So I'm going to keep this hoodie over here. You're going to copy the whole name of this hoodie and uh, you can come to find suppliers and add this whole hoodie name over here. Okay. And you can click on OK. And it should most probably find the hoodie, but in other cases, if it doesn't, you can simply come to import list. And once you come to import list on Deezer, just click on search over here. And once you click on search over here, copy the URL of this product, paste it over here, and click on OK. Now, if you don't find this product on uh, your Deezer store, you can cross reference it with your Alibaba as well. But yeah. Once you found your product, you can simply push it to your store. Uh, like, let's say I'm going to come to find suppliers. I'm just going to give you an example. So let's say I like this product. Uh, Deezers. I'm going to click on import list. And once you click on import list, it's going to be added to your import list, as it said. So from here, you can push it to your store. So click on push to store. And here it says you can push your products easily. So I'm going to click on push to stores. And it will actually take this product and put it in my store product catalog. And as you can see, it just starts loading. I'm going to wait for it to do that. And these are two products down here. You can see this sweatshirt and this hoodie. These are also products that I imported to my store. So it's pretty easy. Now, if we go over to products, let's see if it imported it. And there we go. Glowing necklace for men. So we have this over here. You can add this in your collections as well. And the incredible part about all of this is that it gives you the title, it gives you the specifications, every detail, every description, images, and different variants if it has any. So once you do that, click on save. And now you can actually go into your online store. And as you go into your online store over here, if you have a whole featured collection with your products, you can start getting the product we just imported. Now, obviously, it's going to take a few minutes to get into your store. But it's really easy to add these things. And as you can see, it also gives you the stock and the variants. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. That is how you're going to add Alibaba products to your Shopify. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.